So welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna talk about yarn barf. Now I'm known for a lot of innuendo. That's not one of my terms that came with the field. So you know what? I had to get my license into being a person that could deal with yarn barf. What an ugly term isn't it? So what that means is that if you're a center puller like I am. So I learned to be a center puller where you jam your fingers into the tight little hole and you try to find the center. So let's keep this PG rated and what you have to do is that you have to find the center. So you have to look down into the hole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, look down into the hole and you gotta ram some fingers in there and you gotta have to loosen it up. So just wiggle your fingers in and this will open up the center which will then open up the interior of the ball. So now we're going to do the fun show. Boo -boo 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 -boo. We're gonna take the ball band off. So now we're gonna do some exercises. One, two, one, two, one, two. Just squish it like this. And what this is doing, it's inflating the interior of the ball. So if I put my fingers in there now, I can feel that there's more space in there. So the more space that you can have, the easier that it will be. So now what I have to do is look in the hole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so what I want to do is put two fingers in and I'm gonna use my fingers like they are scissors or uh, like, um, what's those things? Um, tongs. So what I want to do is just reach in and I do this honest to God and I'm just gonna wiggle around and I'm gonna see if I can feel any and I'm kind of looking off into space so I can use my senses and I'm trying to find if there's any kind of loose strands in, in the inside and I'm pulling. My God if this works you need to buy a lottery ticket today. So now I just pulled one strand and here comes the barf. <laughs> Honestly this isn't bad. Usually you can end up with half a wad out and so I'm gonna keep on pulling. So I'm gonna keep on pulling. Oh look at this one. Yeah. <laughs> the mothership of yarn barf is about to pop out. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna reach in and just grow pull that whole wad out. Now we're doing some <laughs> serious yarn barfing and so you keep on pulling like this until you only see one strand that's coming out of the ball. Oh there's the end. Look at that. It's, it's like a miracle. So I know that I'm near the end. So, now so at this point in the tutorial this is when people will grab their cell phone and take a photo of it and then slam it onto every possible yarn group there ever was on Facebook and say oh my god look what just happened. I hate this. You know suck it up buttercups. This is exactly you know part of it. If they uh, wind this too loose it becomes bigger in the box therefore it's more expensive to ship. So everything is tightly wound so that it can save you money. And so I can either go from this strand and pull it backward. Okay so that I can pull it like this or what else would I do? Any, any suggestions? I would literally crochet this coming right out of that. So I'm just gonna keep massaging the yarn barf. Again a terrible word and I'm just gonna see if I can get this to work. Now I'm just gonna loosen things up, spread it out. Do you hear me panicking? <laughs> oh I'm not that good of an actor. Um, so anyway so I'm just gonna pull and then I'm seeing where it's gonna pull. So I see that this is coming out here. So I'm just gonna pull this and see what happens. So I'm just kind of pulling on that same strand. I just backed you out a little bit. And I know what you're thinking. I just want to crochet. Big deal. You know this we are such quick crocheters generally that this kind of yarn barf that just came out you'll rel you'll crochet that relatively quickly. But once you have your system like this happens like with these tight balls all the time for me especially with Bernat Blanket. But if I'm gonna panic about it then it's not gonna work. So you have options. So you can either get angry about it or just be patient about it. Sometimes it, it gets more tangled than other times of course. There's always exceptions to the rule but I find with myself it's just it's never a big deal. You can end up I, I won't be dismissive of the idea but you can end up with a knot as well. So it depends on how it came out and it all depends on where that center like that individual strand came out. It all depends on that too. 
Okay, so you can see that I have a bit of a knot going on here. So all I could do, this is coming right directly out of the ball. I'm just gonna open up where it's coming out and I'm just gonna put the yarn ball through it. So now I'm just using the yarn ball and see what I can do. And look, that's all it was. Leave this over the armrest of your chair and then as you're crocheting it will come up over the top and then all the tangles are gone and this is how you would deal with yarn bar. So it's actually not that hard. It's just a matter of requiring you to be a little bit patient and etc. So hopefully that helps you. Uh, there's no other better solution than patience truly.